That's right. Today you have sent me your WWE 2K24 creations because I'm just that kind of a guy and I want to react to them. I know <laughs> it's the kind of level I'm at. Also, shout out to 2K. They have backed and sponsored this video, which I really do appreciate. Now, here's the deal, right? They're all here on my phone, but I haven't looked at them because if I looked at them beforehand, I'm not reacting to them. So I'm going in blind. So if there's anything offensive, well, I'll cut out the video, but it's not my fault. We start with a video, amazingly, from Revier, which I'm not pronouncing at all. And I think that is Shinsuke Nakamura and your guy has set a, t <laughs> has set a table on fire because of course he has. And his name is Jason Daniels. Good name. <laughs> you just threw Shinsuke Nakamura <laughs> through a table. And now you're doing springboards. Bro, you can't both be hardcore and agile. You're moving so fast though, I'm actually kind of struggling to, to see your guy. Looks a bit like the classic sort of late 2010s sort of flippy dippy dude. Which is totally fine. I guess it's good that we got a video because we can see you in action. But obviously it's harder to actually actually see your character. What I can tell you about your character is you're wearing some sort of green glove, which is cool. But you're, all, you're also the most aggressive man who has ever existed on this planet. What are you going to do now? You can't throw Shinsuke Nakamura through a table. I mean, you most definitely are. I can, I can see what you're doing. He's totally boned as well. He's got no health bar left whatsoever. I'm a bit worried about what move you are going to do. Because I can only imagine you've given your guy all the craziest maneuvers. Of course you are. Oh my gosh. And he does. Let's just move on. Now this one was quite funny. Because it came from UK Wrestling Fan, which makes all the sense in the world. This is Tate Mayfair's. Now Tate Mayfair's, if you don't know, is a star on the UK independent scene. And if we're using Batman and Robin relationships here, which we will do, everyone can understand. He is but Batman and Robin, Batman the Joker. He is the Joker to my Batman. We have feuded all over the place. We had a proper hardcore match in Progress Wrestling. And look, it's very good. It's very well done. He did perform in NXT UK. So we've done that too. This is the best picture because these are the tights that he wears. And everyone says they look like Weatherspoon's floor carpet. Now, that means nothing. <laughs> to my US friends, just know, one, that is a very good core. They've done extremely well. And well, yes, his pants do look like a Weatherspoon's carpet. Rob Keebler has gone few in as well. Apparently he has modified this so that it could be in the Judgment Day group, which I like. That's thinking outside the box. You've called it the Omega, which off the record, WWE ain't gonna call anyone. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Let's not talk about it. You've got the purple. I like the purple. You've also made him a superhero. You've given him a mask. I do believe he has sort of reddish ginger hair. That speaks to my taste. My brother and sister are ginger. Let's not worry about it. What I really like is that you've tied the hair color in into the, what do we call them, back straps? I don't know, on the back of the character, which is good. And he's also got a really cool cloak, which I can only presume is for entrances. So essentially what we have here is we have a superhero, we have Sting, we have the Undertaker, and we just have what like, most characters rolled into one, and you've got spikes on your trousers. Now look, believe you me, sometimes people in the past have said, Simon, what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, spikes on my trousers. And here I am, I'm a pretty old man, and not one time has anybody done this. AD as well has said, us an entire entrance so they're taking on Seamus a bit risky I mean Seamus ain't been around for a while but he'll whoop your tuckers I like it we've got fire on the Titan Tron and again this is the kind of person I think people like creating once more you could put them in a 2012 scenario is that the right word I don't know a 2012 environment you're also the WWE champion I like the fact you've got a Bray armband that's very cool the documentary got announced recently no one's gonna be able to get through that without crying crying their eyes out what I, I think the other thing that I enjoy is, what's your name? Your name is Joey Tempest, Universal Champion. Damn right. What I like is that you are, uh, you look like a real person. I, mean, I understand that comes down to the engine and the, and the tools that you're given. But it's something that I think stands out. Like, I am not, I think we talked about this when we talked about WW2K24 before. I am not a creator guy. I'd love to be. Don't have the skills. Don't have the time. Don't have the technical ability. So instead, <laughs> I just want you guys to do it. And once more, it's nice pants as well, which is a weird thing to say. Obviously, I'm referring to the tights, just using my, my British mannerisms. But white and black tights are an underappreciated delicacy in wrestling, and more people should have them. Who also just thought, too, are you, like, making a reference to the lead singer of Europe? You're probably not, but it had to be said. We've got another entrance from Revolution. This one's been posted on TikTok as well, so I suppose you can try it there. My gosh. I mean, that is something terrifying, right? This is the kind of stuff, what's your name? I have to look in. Anum. Anum? We'll go with Anum. The other one sounds, sounds a bit weird. This is what I'm talking about. It goes back to literally what I was just talking about. The absolute effort that has gone into this is absolutely redonkulous. I don't know how you create all that fire and flame effect. When my guy comes out, he basically rolls to the ring because <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't done it right. And you're doing the weird creepy walk as well. I'm not a massive fan. Like, it's cool. 
but it freaks me out. Like, if I saw that walking down alleyway, I'm going to run away. You look a bit like a demon that sort of crawled out of the ground. I don't know what that means. The cool man has sent me the cool woman because it's based on their Twitch name or their Discord name. So we have another entrance here. There we go. Yeah, the cool, the cool woman. I mean, the cool woman. It makes sense. I'm turning the brightness up on my phone in case you care. You didn't know to know that. It's erroneous information. Looks kind of like a ninja. I like the thing around your face. Why is that a thing, right? If out of context I saw that, I'd be like, well, it's ridiculous. Why have you got a napkin around your face? But when you actually look at it here, it just looks badass. Like, it looks cool. And I instantly think that person could absolutely whoop my ass or anybody's ass in wrestling. I like the music as well. That's good. I think we've got some pictures as well. There you are. I think you're about to do a Cody car or something like that. Good gear as well. Yellow and black. Shout out NXT. And then we've got that one from your entrance as well. I like that one a lot. Good work, Emmanuel. Darrow sent me one as well. He was a bit worried because he said with two of my characters having a hockey fight be considered cheating. I don't think I made up any rules. The only problem is I don't have the names on here, but we can kind of have a look. Again, got the black and white pants. Always good. The tattoo on the back of the shoulders. Very, very 1998. Goldberg would be pleased. And then the other one, CS. I don't know what that stands for. Let's go with Carl Stevens. Logo like Carl Stevens. I like the fact it ties into the wrist tape. Little small swings, like I always say. And yeah, red and black is good. They're both wearing kick pads, I believe. I can't really tell from the other guy. Certainly looks like kick pads. And they both have long hair. And they absolutely both have beards. So look, you've ticked all the, all the independent professional wrestler and tributes. What else do you need? The Crow Cause as well, who I'm going to presume makes lots of uh, creative wrestlers would be my guest. Yep, their thing on Twitter is WWE2K24 Regenerating, so you should probably check them out. They'll probably have some good stuff. We go back to the UK scene. That is Mr. Charles Crowley. Oh, the search tag in there as well, the Crow Cause. There you go. I mean, once again, look up Charles Crowley if you don't watch UK independent wrestling. That is pretty much spot on. You even got the weird hat. Manira Alvarez as well has sent me deck. <laughs> Declan Spice. People have a go at me because I call my gate my name Derek Manpower. Declan Spice. <laughs> Declan Spice is great. Ninety-two and a cruiserweight. Once again, long hair. You know it. Beard. You know it. Mustache is a little bit creepy. Not not gonna lie. It's almost like it's not actually attached to the beard, but I respect it. And you're wearing a necklace. You don't often see wrestlers wearing necklaces, do you? Obviously, Stone Cold Steve Austin used to have one, but then eventually he took it off. I think he told the story about this. Once again, I don't know what we're talking about. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. A very generous marker. Billy Walker set one as well. He wanted to point out it's still a work in progress, but I've started this year by sticking myself in. Tats and all. So this is him. You've got your scar pants with lightning on it. Lightning's always a good wrestling thing. Like the little S's on the knee pads. And only one knee pad as well. Again, little gimmick. Little novelty. And you hatch, you kind of have um, elbow pads like I have. And you have matching tattoos, I believe. I don't know. You've got stars on one arm. And then whatever, it's like a gauntlet on the other arm. I quite like it. If that's the first one that you've ever done, I think you should be pretty proud of yourself. <laughs> I mean, the facial reaction is the nicest thing you've got in the world. Maybe he's just really hungry. He's like, give me food now. Tracks Light as well sent someone and just said, absolutely want to be part of this. And we've got this guy who is the CCW world champion. I love that you need to get into belt. Why I'm so actually so surprised. I know all of this. I play the game. But this is, I'm going to assume is your entrance attire. So glasses, good. Vest, good. I like the what looks like orange or maybe red tassels around the bicep. Who else? Does anyone really wear stuff around the bicep anymore like that? I don't think they do. And of course, you're wearing gloves. My favorite thing, this is going to sound weird, but sometimes you've got to be honest with yourself, is your hair. That dude got really good hair. Jerome Span also threw one in as well. I mean, that looks awesome. That does. That's all the sweat on you after you've won the championships, I presume. Your beard is absolutely amazing. And you've got two championships there. That's obviously the WWE title. I can't work out what the other one is. It's probably the other world championship, but I don't know. That's just a great shot, to be honest with you. I'm trying to work out what show that is too. I think it must be Monday Night Raw. Either way, that's a good one. I'm going to give it a nine. Drobe Span has spent one as well. Their character is called Jay Span. I mean, they're having a War Games match. Where are you, dude? I can still... <laughs> It's too hard to figure out. You could be any one of these people because it's absolute carnage as war games, as war games should be. This is why I probably shouldn't have watched it on my phone. But I mean, someone is clearly about to do something crazy. We've got 10 seconds left in this video clip. Either way, I'm just enjoying a good war games match, to be honest with you. And I mean, again, it's just cool, right? You can make yourself in the game and then go fight with the legend. Randy Suarez was very specific, which I enjoy, with a retro alternate loosely based on how I used to create myself in the SmackDown games years ago. So here he is. I mean, you've got the baseball theme. Smash on there, dude. Fair play. I'm glad you pointed that out because I probably would have recognized it, but it's good to be told. That's really, really badass. And then you've got your entrance at that. Those WrestleMania stages are so good. There you are getting all pumped up. I like the armbands a lot. I like the hair as well. Uh, the hat, I should say. What do you call that? A hat? A do-rag? I don't even know. And then you've got your old 
alternative one there with your blue. The wrist tape is brilliant. Now, I want to make a quick sidebar here. You'll have to agree with me. Obviously, I wrestle uh, on the weekends. I don't know how anyone gets away with using that much wrist tape. You'd be out of a roll. <laughs> It's like one day, our stuff costs a lot of money. Alex sent me one as well. And I mean, look at this guy. I mean, if you were playing like a video game and that was the final boss, you would totally believe it. And this would be his first form with the weird feathery coat. And then we move over to this one. Once you've got his damage down enough, he obviously loses the coat and he loses the feathers and he, and he reveals his mask. The thing that has given me a little bit of the fear is on his legs. On the left side, you've got like a solid gold plating. And on the right, we seem to have divided it. He did admit it's low quality. Apologize for that. So I'll just mention it in case you're staring at your screen like, why does it look all blurry? But yeah, I mean, once more, dude, if you try to create someone scary, I'm pretty damn scared. And he's also came back as well because he's got a My Rise character. And he just called him Jacked with Tattoos. Yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like the other guy, to be honest with you. You've just stripped him down and given him tattoos and a waistcoat and sunglasses. I mean, it really is all you need in life. Cap Kidman as well said the OTS project now available to download in WWE 2K24. We are a real team located in Florida that you can now also beat your favorites virtually. So on the left, we have Carlos Gabriel. On the right, we have Elias Roman. And we have Carl Kidman in the middle. In the middle and the manager, but also has wrestling attire for fun. So yeah, they're all the three guys. And I presume they're real. Otherwise, this person's lying to me, which would be really weird. All wearing hoodies, all ready to kick someone's butt. I like it. Dopest Dan has sent me Danny Dynamic, which is the greatest 1995 wrestling name ever. That's a cool entrance gown, if we want to call it that. And that's a cool shot. You've got a little bit of the AJ Styles to you. I'm a big fan of the boots. I like the way the blue kind of runs through the whole outfit. And then it looks like you've got a bit of purple in the sleeves. But again, that could just be the lights. It's another good one. Lily has sent me the St. Amber. And very nice, we have different costumes here. Lots of piercings, cool hair. Once again, ready to go to war. That's a more sort of zoomed out version. Got a Rhea Ripley vibe going on, which is nice. But then look, baby, <laughs> you've got an entrance coat. That must take forever to put on. And it must take forever to take off. This is the only negative you have here. Somebody could jump attack her and pin her before she'd taken her coat off. Louis Bordeaux has sent me Paragon, who we've gone for a bit of a Lucha Libre theme here. I mean, I like the fact that the face paint is kind of, this is obviously post-match and your face paint has paint worn off a bit. And there it is beforehand once more. If I was asleep and I saw that when I woke up, I'm not going to be happy. And I really, really like, as look, I admit it, it's a bit over-the-top wrestling, which I've got no problem with. But I like the fact, and it looked like skulls, maybe I'm wrong, but the pants are just decorated with skulls. Do you remember when Randy always asked that about this, about his tattoos? Why you got skulls, Randy? Because I just really like skulls. Skulls are cool. Ipso facto. Meat lover. <laughs> So we're already here. This is so good. Meat Lover just sticks up to his name. He's introducing the barbecue butcher, the meaty man who chops down other meaty man. Dude, I love it. I love the Slim Jim, the Slim Jim headband. I love the yellow and red sort of drippy blood, like Scott Hall, right, on the armbands. And the coat in general. I mean, you called him the, but the butcher, right? Yeah, the barbecue butcher. It does look like he's going to chop somebody up. It sounds terrible. And we shall bring it to an end there as well. Thank you very much for sending me those through. I just find it very entertaining. And I like the fact that we're all out there having a good time. Please do check out my other 2K24 videos on the channel as well. Otherwise, click the notification bell. Ding, ding. Then you know when other videos are going live. Maybe you want to stay away from that. No more Simon Miller. Click the video on the screen as well. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Otherwise, it is indeed grillamind.com. Forza Simon. You're going to sign up and get 10% off. Patreon.com for Simon316, Simon316 on Instagram and Twitter, Simon J. Miller on TikTok, Simon Miller on Cameo, and my merchandise as well, Pro Wrestling Tees and Samson Athletics. Once again, I want to shout out the video. Thank you very much for 2K, who really have supported me this year, which is very cool and allowed me to make more content about the wrestlings. We'll have a couple more videos as well. Thank you for you guys as well. I found that very entertaining. I'm a very simple man. Goodbye.